Just when I thought I couldn't milk any more videos out of Shelter, they go and release a mini album. Uh, this is my third video already on uh, Shelter by Porter Robinson and Maddie, and the first, of course, being the single review, and the second being the concert review. And now they have put out a bit of a compilation uh, mini album to go along with it. it uh, this was a Japan exclusive. So, of course, I had to get it on a Japanese website in a language where I had no idea what was going on. But regardless, put in that nice payment information, and my CD came in just a couple weeks ago. Now, you guys are probably wondering why I'm milking Shelter so hard, considering in my initial review of the track, I said that I didn't like it very much, and I can honestly say that my opinions of it have changed quite a bit since that review, and I can absolutely thank that gorgeous music video for that, speaking of which was a large part of the branding of this album. In fact, on the, on the back of this, we've got a little bit of a clip uh, from the music video. And just in case I didn't already make this clear, this review is going to be a little bit more of a product review than it is going to be a review of the actual music music content found on this, considering I've already uh, reviewed Maddian's album Adventure, which uh, a lot of the tracks from that reappear on this, as well as Porter Robinson's World's Remix and Shelter itself as a track, uh, it would be kind of redundant to review the content of this, especially considering I'm going to go back and review Worlds later this year. This product nonetheless is a very interesting product, but I'm actually pretty happy that I bought it. It is a bit scattered though in terms of the track list, we get two versions of Shelter right off the bat, we get the original mix and the Matt Zoe remix. And then at the very, very end of the album, we actually get another version of Shelter, which is the piano version, actually the only new original content that's found on this album. And that, of course, is the piano version that's found in the music video of the song. And honestly, this version is just so beautiful, it almost makes it worth it to buy this CD just for that. I'll go ahead and put that out there. Something about that physical release that makes collecting all the more worthwhile, and I think this one definitely makes a solid one in my collection. And just to be clear, this mini album makes for six songs that you will not be able to find on physical release anywhere else, including the Shelter vinyl. Although I wouldn't necessarily say I loved a ton of those tracks, I mean they're all remixes and most of them are probably not what I would have picked uh, from the bunch of remixes that there were of songs on Adventure and songs on Worlds, uh, with the exception of the Matt Zoe remixes, of course. I'm guessing that I'm not understanding the placement of these remixes because these were probably the most commercially successful in Japan and not America. Other than those, this album kind of feels like a Porter Robinson and Maddie and Greatest Hit its compilation type of deal, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I really would have liked to see the Shelter live edits make an appearance on physical. Of course that's not going to happen, as well as it didn't happen with the Worlds album, which is really a disappointment because I would have loved to have high quality versions of those things, they're so good. But we don't get that, and instead it seems like what we're getting with this album is just a collection of Porter Robinson and Maddian's favorites from their respective debut albums, which is cool I guess, but like I said, probably the biggest thing about having this album is just having having it as a collector's item. And another thing that I think is really cool about the song booklet is that it has all the lyrics for all the songs in both Japanese and English, which in my opinion I feel like really bridges the gap between Japanese and American consumers. Now probably the only thing that I'm never going to understand though is why a flag was included in the package, and here let me show this to you guys. Um, this is a, this is a shelter, uh, animation flag, and I don't know if people in Japan are really into, uh, having anime flags, but I personally am not really into that, and I love the anime and everything, I'm just not into getting made fun of at school <laughs> for having an anime flag, uh, up in my room. I don't know if any of you guys are into that, but... Uh, I'm actually going to give away this flag, I think when I hit 3,000 subscribers, maybe along with a couple other things as well, probably some kind of package that I'm going to throw together. I think I'm a little under 300 away from that landmark, so uh, if you guys really want a shelter, uh, shelter music video anime flag, uh, tell your friends about my channel so that uh, I, I reach that mark so you can have a chance of snagging this thing up because I do not really want to keep it for that long. But uh, that's basically it when it comes to this review. I'm not going to give it a rating or anything because that would feel really weird for uh, rating a product of this stature. I'm hoping that this product is still available online if any of you are interested in buying it because I would definitely suggest you do if you're interested and you're a collector like myself. And if it is still available, I'm going to have that link down in the description below. Uh, anyway, I'm Landon Remixes. I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a different review and I'll catch you soon. Peace. Oh, wow, 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 wow.